Right now we're looking at the leads table in the sales hub and this is a view that I've got out of the box. Now I'm going to show an example of how maybe I collected some trade show leads that I just attended. When we go ahead and add those into an Excel file, you can put them in column view. Um, in this example, I've got first name, last name, phone number, and email address. You might have other fields or other data that you're collecting on a lead, and that's okay. Whatever you've got, as long as we can map that into Dynamics 365, if you've got a home for that data, you're going to be okay, and I'll show you how to do that. So this is my sample trade show leads. It looks like I've got just over 50 of them. This is all the data that I want to import into Dynamics 365. So to do that, there's a couple different ways. Um, I, number one for me, I like to start from a view that's going to contain all of those fields. So first name, last name, mobile, and email address. And you can see in this view that I, I don't have that. So what I can do is I can go ahead and edit my view. So let's click Edit Columns. We want to add those columns. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to look for first name. I'm going to look for last name. I want that mobile phone. And I want email address. So there's email. Okay, you might have more. I'm going to click, click close. And then now I can sort what order I want these to be in. So let's get created and status at the back end. I want first name, last name, mobile, and email together. And putting them in the correct order can be very helpful. It's much easier to copy and paste them right in there if they're all in order based on what your spreadsheet is. So we'll click Apply. That's going to update this view now. So you can see I've got full name, topic, first, last, mobile, email. From there, I can save my view. So we'll save this as a new view. And I'm just going to say... Jesse, I'm going to put my name in there. You can save it as whatever you'd like. Now that I've got my new view, I can come in and download this as a template. So let's go ahead, click on Excel Templates, click Download Template, and it's already grabbed the table and the view that I'm starting from. So that's perfect. If you needed to make any adjustments to your columns, you can do so now. I'm going to click Download and then from there, I'm going to open up that file. So if it's in your downloads file, go grab it. If you've got a quick link there, go ahead and open it up that way as well. Once it's open, we're going to go ahead and click Enable Editing. You may or may not need to do that. And on this screen, you can see we've got those existing leads that we're looking at already in our view. We don't want to do anything to those. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to highlight those rows, right click and delete them. We want to start fresh. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over. Okay. So it's uh, right side of my screen here. I'm just going to show side by side how I'm going to copy and paste these in. So let's grab that trade show leads Excel. We'll again make them side by side here. And I'm going to start here with my first name of John for John Smith. Let's scroll down to the bottom, hold that shift key down, and highlight this entire group. Okay, now I'm going to control C to copy it. And I want to come over into first name. So I'm in that, that first row that's available to me under first name. And I'm going to control V, which is going to paste this. Okay. So that pasted all of those records in there. Let's go down to the bottom, make sure everything looks good. Yep, that's all I need. Perfect. Okay, now we do need a topic. When you put in the lead, that is a requirement. So these could have been from a trade show, and maybe you want to go through and put different um, topic names in there. Again, that becomes the lead record name. If I want these all to say trade show, no problem. I can do that. So I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to um, copy and paste this all the way down. All right, so these are all from a trade show. Um, likely you're going to have a more descriptive name for the topic. It could be you know, a trade show from XYZ date at XYZ time at location, whatever that looks like. All right, so now I want to go ahead and I want to save it. So this, um, I could save it as a different name, obviously. I'm just going to leave it as the name that it is. And now I want to get rid of this. I don't need the sample trade show anymore. All right, so we've saved this. 
I don't need to do anything more with it either, so we'll go ahead and exit that out. All right, now we just gotta go through and import these. Importing them, very simple. I wanna go ahead and click on uh, import from Excel. I was in the wrong one there. Import from Excel, and it's gonna, first thing it's gonna ask us is to choose the file. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, now that I've added my file, I can go down to the bottom, and this wizard is going to help walk me through this process. So I'm going to click Next, and it's going to first thing it's going to do is ask me, do I want to allow duplicates? Well, we always want to prevent duplicate data as much as possible. We don't want any duplicates in the system. I may have even gone in and entered the same lead twice, so no, we don't want duplicates. If you are going to allow that, by all means, click Yes. And now you could simply click Finish Import, or if you wanted to go in and review the mapping, you could. And this is what's gonna tell you from your worksheet what we're mapping to in the system. So last name to last name, topic to topic, email, email, first, first, middle, middle, mobile, mobile, perfect. Don't worry if the name isn't mapped, it's gonna help us with that anyway. It's gonna combine the first and last name once we import these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click Finish Import, everything looks good. If you have other fields that maybe are custom and you want to map those to the correct field, you can. I'm going to go ahead and click Confirm. And now this is going to start that import process. And depending on how large your file is, um, it could take less than a minute. It might take uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes. You might have thousands of records. If you want to track the progress, you can. So I'm going to click Track Progress. That's going to open up a new page for me. And this is going to show all my imports along with the status of them. So from here, it's going to be at the top. So this is the import process here. So it's going to tell me how many were successful, if I had any partial failures or errors, as well as the total number that were processed. So all I have to do is click refresh, and that's going to continue to update the status here. So right now we're parsing. We've got 53 total leads. And if I continue to hit refresh here, so maybe every 5, 10 seconds until it gets to a point where it's, it's starting that process of importing. So now we're transforming. Perfect. We'll go ahead and refresh this one more time. Now we're importing. We've already imported 10 of the 53. Refresh it one more time. 53 of 53. Excellent. So that time I didn't have any errors. If you had any errors in yours, maybe you had a, some partial or full errors here, you can drill down into the document and it will help walk you through or give you an indication of what the cause was of any errors for any, any of the leads that did not import. And now that I've completed the import process, if I jump into my leads, it's going to show all those new leads that I just brought in. So look at all these trade show leads that were just brought in. All right, thanks for watching this short video on importing records using Microsoft Excel. Have a great rest of your day.